Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to get back to basics a little bit and talk about some of the qualities and characteristics and the physics of sound. We're going to call this part one. We'll probably do two or three parts on this. There's three major parts that we need to look at when we're dealing with audio in our rooms. We have level, frequency, and propagation. Level is the strength, the amplitude, the loudness. Okay, so that's one of the characteristics of the physics of sound. Frequency is the other one. What do we have for frequency? Pitch, tone, and wavelength, right? Those are the three. You've all heard those to tones. You all heard about tones. You've all heard about pitch. You've all heard about wavelength. But I want you to see how it all fits into the bigger picture. So often in acoustics, we get these little tidbits of information. We get the word pitch. We get the word strength. We get the word amplitude. But we don't know how it relates. These are micro tactics, if you will, into a larger sound strategy of physics. So we have to kind of look at the terms that we use every day and see how they fit into a big structure. So propagation, what's the path? Air, solids, water, liquids. So sound can go through a lot of different propagation or pathways. So keep all of that in mind. What do we focus on mainly with audio? Well, air and solids, you know, because we got a room that the audio is uh, achieved in, and then we have the um, structure, we have the uh, absorption and diffusion that we have to work with too. So all of these things have a unit of measure. So the physics of sound includes level, frequency, propagation, and the decibel is the unit of measure that we use. So let's look at some examples. 10 dB, <coughs> excuse me, human breathing. That's a good benchmark for getting a handle on things. 50 dB, normal conversation, probably what we're running at about right now. 100 dB, this is where we have the hearing loss. I have to be real careful. And then 140 dB for an extreme would be a jet engine, a dragster. I did some measuring one time at a track, and it was 160 at the start line. You've got to be very, very careful. Okay? What do we know? What's some of the characteristics about energy? We know that in a free field with no obstruction, that the strength drops by 6 dB for every doubling of distance. So each one of these level, frequency, and propagation have characteristics. So the level or the strength of the signal, we know that it drops 6 dB by every doubling of distance. So keep those characteristics in mind. The next video will talk about frequency and propagation. Thank you. Thank you for watching our videos. We really appreciate your support. And if you could give us a thumbs up for our Facebook page, that would really be helpful to us. A room form uh, gives us all the information about your room, length, width, height, usage, and we need you to fill that out before you send it in. Those of you that just found us on the internet and are under a time crunch, you can go to the contact section of our website and there's a book now button so you can book an appointment with us, but make sure I have your uh, room form to go on with it. The ebook series that we have is free, please subscribe to that. There's exclusive videos in there so you can get a an idea of uh, your particular situation possibly with the videos and then our forum we have a forum on our website there's a lot of forums out there on the internet our forum will will I'll actually answer your questions and and comments so you'll be dealing directly with me through our forum so once again thank you for your support